I don't bulk. I also don't cut. I usually either main gain or when I get a little leaner, when I get a little smaller, it's because I'm stressed. Oh, you are so stupid. You don't know what you're talking about. You can't build muscle if you make gain. Coach Greg, and in today's video, we're going to go over how lean beef patty stays lean year round. She literally goes over her exact diet, what she does, how she thinks, how she goes about making sure that she eats the proper amount of food to stay lean year round. I think the proper term would be like flexible dieting. So pretty much what that means is I track things but I don't track them super closely. And so what she does is flexible dieting. That allows her to eat pretty much what she wants so long as she tracks a few things loosely. She doesn't count every single macro or calorie. And I do believe for most people, this is the way to go. It's very difficult to track every single morsel of food you eat in an entire day. Most people, they can't do it anyway. And for the most part, research shows people underreport calories eaten by over 30%. So even if you think you're eating 2,000 calories, most likely you're eating 2,600 calories or more. And so for supper, she's eating a teriyaki chicken sandwich and french fries. And so clearly she doesn't cut out everything. She doesn't eat perfect. It's not all 100% healthy, but for the most part, it is healthy. And I still like to rely on some concepts from intuitive eating, listening to your body and what sounds good. I always aim for like a six or a seven. And so she likes to intuitively eat, but not 100%. She says, if I just allowed myself to eat whatever I want, I wouldn't eat enough protein. She'd eat mostly carbs. And so for her, she needs to count protein. And so for her, she simply makes sure she eats enough protein and listens to her hunger cues. And she likes to use the hunger fullness scale of which I've covered in detail in videos, as well as in my circle diet book. And here's the problem. Many people overeat. They eat to the point of being full and then stuffed. And so when she eats, she tries to stay around a six or a seven. She never eats to the point of being stuffed. Oftentimes you go out for supper, you eat until you're full, then the dessert menu comes, and then you continue to eat. You eat till you're stuffed. You binge and you eat well beyond the point of being satisfied. You're full into being stuffed. Also, another problem, people don't eat when they're hungry. They're hungry, starving, and they say, no, I'll just keep fasting. I'll save my calories for later. Big mistake. If you keep doing that, what's going to happen is eventually your willpower will run out, you will binge. How many times have you eaten healthy all week long only to blow everything on the weekend? It's not about what you do on any given day, it's what you do consistently over time that really matters. I don't bulk, I also don't cut. I usually either main gain or when I get a little leaner, when I get a little smaller, I'm stressed. And so if you watch Coach Greg videos, you probably heard me say, don't bulk and cut, rather main gain. Oh, you are so stupid. You don't know what you're talking about. You can't build muscle if you main gain. Only time you can't build muscle main gaining is if you're too lean. If you're trying to walk around single digit body fat, you're not eating enough. You can't put on muscle, eat more, get healthy, healthy body fat percentage, and then main gain. And so what happens if she gets too lean? She eats more. What if she starts eating too much? She eats less. You can look at your body in the mirror every week and if you notice you're getting too fluffy for yourself, eat a little bit less. Getting too shredded, eat a bit more. That makes it so easy. You don't have to track every single calorie that goes into your mouth. I was eating like 20 to 50 grams of protein a day. That was it. So I don't know why my muscles grew. And to answer a question as to why she was able to build muscle eating only 20 to 50 grams of protein a day, the reason is because that is in fact enough to build muscle. It's not optimal, but it's certainly enough protein to grow. The average female consuming only 50 grams of protein a day, that is going to be enough to build muscle. So long as you're not dieting, cutting down, that protein, those amino acids will be used to build muscle. And so it's not that she's superhuman, it's simply that 50 grams of protein is still quite a bit of protein. More is better, sure but it's not gonna be twice as good. Perhaps one gram of protein per pound of body weight, that's the ultimate, but if you only consume half of that, that's more than enough for most people to actually build muscle. I try to get at least one gram per pound of my body weight. I also don't always hit that, but that's okay because that's what flexible dieting is. And so if you're 150 pounds and you've only had 120 grams of protein that day and it's five minutes to midnight, you don't need to say, oh, I better shove in 30 grams of protein before midnight or I'm going to lose my gains. That is ridiculous. You don't need to eat that much protein. If you're really strict and you don't ever let yourself get a break, eventually what will 
probably happen to you and what happens to most people is the binge. And another thing she mentions, do not be overly restrictive on your diet. I've said it time and time again, you need to love the diet you're on or you're not gonna follow it. If you take out all the foods that you enjoy, how long do you really think you're gonna be able to stick to that diet? Maybe for the eight weeks you need to get in shape for summer, but as soon as you get that physique, you go off the diet, regain all the weight, yo-yo diet year after year. And so rather than that, eat a diet that you can enjoy, which is why I have this freaking cookbook, so many low calorie, high volume, high protein, delicious recipes, won't even feel like you're dieting. Keep all the foods that you love, it's the forever diet, the diet you can stick to for the rest of your life. Don't cut out anything, make them lower in calories, keep eating them. I used to suffer with a really, really bad eating disorder. I eat this way not only because it works for me, but also because I don't ever wanna fall into that again. And so she speaks from experience, she knows what it's like. If you're overly restrictive, it can often lead to binging. And then if you overeat, feel guilty, then that can lead to bulimia. And so that is a very common eating disorder. And so rather than simply thinking, I'll just cut out all the junk, keep it in. It's better to have balance and having a diet that works for you. It's not about being perfect. It's simply about being better than you are. Probably if I tracked more strictly, probably if I did a bulk and a cut, I could look just way better than I look now. Nope. If you bulked and cut, you wouldn't look better than you do right now. You look heavier when you bulk and the same when you cut. So rather than that, just be consistent. Bulking and cutting does not overall put on more muscle than main gaining. The only time main gaining doesn't work that it won't put on as much muscle is if you're over dieting. We all have a genetic set point for body fat percentage where we build muscle optimally. And if you try to function below that, you won't build muscle. If you try to eat above that, it won't help you build muscle. Anywhere in between, that is what's optimal for you. Problem is most people think they can cut down single digit body fat and then just main gain from there. Not gonna work. If you get shredded like a bodybuilder, 5% body fat on stage, notice they have to bulk up after a show. That's because they're below their genetic set point. I'm not sure doing something like that would be beneficial. I might personally fall down a dark path. And that's not something I wanna put myself in the position of. Exactly. Oftentimes people bulk and cut, they see their body shredded, then they go on a bulk, they look in the mirror, they don't like it, and then they go to extreme measures to lose the weight, perhaps develop an eating disorder. It's not about just doing what's perfect for the body, it's about the mental and physical health. And so I highly encourage you to main gain at a healthy body fat percentage, rather than thinking that eating a bunch of extra food is gonna pack on this magic amount of muscle. Six months ago, there was a period where I was, I think, restricting a lot heavier, and it led me several times to binge on chocolate. And so there you have it, even as recent as six months ago, she was being overly restrictive, it led to binging. Eating a pound of chocolate can't stop. Body gets taken over. You're eating your full stuff and you just keep eating. You don't even enjoy it at that time. That is what happens when you are overly restrictive on your diet. It was a pound of chocolate, like from a chocolatier. I didn't even want it at that point, especially after I was like halfway through the chocolate. Did you notice that with Jesse James had 7,000 calories in one day? Was eating 12 to 1,500 calories a day, being overly restrictive, and then what do you think the result is? Eventually your body caves, it can't handle it, forces you to overeat. So I'd like people to know that you can look great and feel great and not miss out on things that you love. And so it's all about balance and tracking can be a slippery slope for some people. They become hyper fixated on every single calorie down to the 0.1 of a calorie. Remember, you don't need to be perfect. 150 minutes of cardio a week, eat mostly healthy food, allow yourself to have cheats when you need to, have snacks when you're hungry, don't get to the point where you're starving, don't eat to the point where you're stuffed, and you're good. The sandwich, I also don't think I'm gonna finish it right now. I only have a little tiny bit left. And so notice she's got her sandwich, french fries, and diet pop. Yes, that's right, it's allowed to have diet pop. It's not gonna ruin your life. In fact, it's going to help you. Studies show that people who consume non nutritive sweetened beverages, in fact, are more satiated and lose more weight and keep it off than people who just drink water. And notice she's not finishing her entire meal. Just because you ordered something at a restaurant doesn't mean you need to eat every last bite. Eat till you're satisfied or at most till you're full. Don't eat to your stuff. Save the rest for later or just throw it out. I'm gonna take it home. I might be hungry again in an hour and I might eat it then. I might not. I don't know. 
Also, this is untracked. Hope you learned something. Ending it here. Looking for HTLT supplements, the training books, the diet books, the circle diet book. Use code GREG, get 10% off. Check out my websites, htltsubs.com or gregduset.com. Subscribe, click the bell button, comment for the algorithm. Don't forget to watch the freaking bloops. At least one. Come on, you can watch it. Like the video. And until next time, I'm out.